what's up guys welcome back i know i've been m.i.a honestly you know when you don't know what to do with a platform you have you kind of just let it sit there that's what i've been doing so let's try this again and again and again Okay, so I feel like people get to see me doing hair, people get to see me creating content, but people don't really get to see me, like, see who I am, my personality and stuff, and like, just hearing me talk, like, you see a little slight on my story, but I feel like I need a platform where I could just be my motherfucking self, like, all the way. But yes, I wanted to just get on here and start talking more about myself, more about what I want to do. And just speak something to existence for myself and i feel like youtube is the perfect platform to bring that to because there is so much people that love to see you see your growth and like instagram and tiktok i feel like it's very like make it 30 seconds and no one's interested youtube is like we're watching so keep talking honestly i want to do like a psych chit chat so so like a, a smoke sesh smoke with jazelle the brand <laughs> But yeah, I already rolled up. This is actually some, what is it called? Black cherry runs. So this is what we're smoking out of the Marty papers. So the first thing that I really want to speak about was just like, I don't know what the word is. Is it perception or I don't know, but you know, like how people see you and how you see yourself. I feel like people see me like this big, huge, successful person. And I just be like, do I have imposter syndrome? Because I don't feel it. Like, I'm like, I need to work harder. I need to work harder. I need to work harder. <laughs> like, every time I fucking, every time, every time I do something decent, I'm like, it's not enough. And I'm like, I don't know why I keep beating myself up like that. Like, I fucking deserve to feel like I'm doing enough but you know what I feel like I'm not where I want to be so that's why I'm just like mm -mm, not it not it yet not it yet as I am trying to navigate through like the imposter syndrome I'm also trying to just better myself and my like myself for my business because I know there's a lot of stuff I need to get in order I don't know if everyone knows or not, but I am not licensed and it really fucks with me. I'm not licensed and it honestly fucks with me because I feel like I could have been way further in my career if I am, if I was licensed because I've always wanted to work in TV, movie, magazines and stuff and a lot of those places require you to, to have your license and also like a lot of them uh, are in unions and things. So like you need to put your ducks in order to... In, like in order to be in those things and one of one of my biggest dreams like i used to say when i was like 20 21 like i was like i want to work for tyler perry studios like i want to do hair for tyler perry studios and as i keep seeing like different hairstylists like be on netflix be on hulu be on tyler, like be in tyler perry series like i'm like yo that's that's i can do that like i can definitely do that i can achieve that you know that i need to better myself and discipline myself more on what I want to do with myself so with that being said I have a I scheduled a tour to go see um Empire Beauty School in New York City I believe it's like on 34th Street or 42nd Street I think 34th Street so I scheduled a visit for Wednesday um I'm gonna go view it see everything I've I've, I've already d done the tour um, but I want to do it again because it's been years. I think the last time when I, did, when, I, when I first did the tour, I was, I believe, like 20. Now I'm 26. It's been six years. Like, holy shit. So I'm going to do the tour. And then I'm going to sign up to start. I'm hoping that they have a start date for September. Because I can't do August. My August schedule is already full. And... If when I when I become a student, I am going to be full time. So it's gonna be nine o'clock to three in the afternoon, I believe. I believe that's the that, that's the curriculum, if I'm not mistaken. So 
So I will be in school Monday through Friday, nine to three. So that means I would only be, well, I'm choosing to take, only take clients Thursday through Saturday. And that way I'll do, I'll do Thursday, Friday. It'll be like late nights. So it'll be like, I'll probably get back to my studio like at four or five. So I think I'm going to start at five and do like five to 10 on Thursdays and Fridays. And then Saturday will be like my early day, like nine to like five or something. So I'm hoping that that is going to be like the new schedule for a few months. I believe that you are in school for like anywhere from like three to six months. I think six months. Honestly, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to really take that like that risk and that like I'm ready to take that in order to be able to have my license and be able to work in other things, other fields and be completely comfortable with it. like, bitch, I belong here. Like I belong here because I did the work to get here. Like. You know, being self-taught is amazing. Big up to all the self-taught people, but there's so much that we need to learn. And that's something I would love to learn. I believe they teach you how to dye hair, um, how to cut hair. I'll be able to start washing hair and stuff. So it's like, it'll be a real level up for the glam plan. So yes, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. I'm excited and I actually want to start my YouTube channel. Like I want to start it up again and just do like vlogs of me going to school, and like basically like basically like a full day with me as i'm navigating school working running my business having a boyfriend having friends like i just want i just i just want to be able to document it all so like when it happens i have so much footage i have so much like things i can look back on like yo i did that like look at the start of hair school and like look at how i ended it like i get to tell you i'm gonna be the class pet i'm I always try to be the class pet. I don't know about y'all, but I love when a teacher loves me. Like, I love when a teacher loves me. Like, and it's like when a teacher sees potential in you, I feel like they really be going hard for you. And I've never had a teacher that didn't believe in me. I want to be able to do hair from all different aspects. And I want to be able to say that I am a jack of all trades in the sense of like natural hair styling. Like, I want to be... I want to be fucking Kim Kimball. Like, I want people to know who Jezel Chaucer is and be like, oh, we don't play about her. Like, she about her coin. She about her styling. She about it, okay? Like, I need people to see me that way. I need to see myself that way. So I feel like the only way I can see myself that way is if I really put in the work to put myself in that position. Like, I feel like I have imposter syndrome because I, I know what I post to get you guys to understand, like, I'm doing shit. But I know what I could be doing so much better. So I beat myself up about, about me doing better because I know that I should be farther along. Or not even, I'm not going to say farther along because it's not a race. It's really not a race. It's a fucking marathon. Like, But I know where I should be and like where I can be. And I know my potential. And it fucks with me that I don't, that I don't put my all into myself. So literally after my birthday, I had like a fucking epiphany. And I was like, that's it. I'm 26. Let's stop playing games. I've, I've even been thinking about learning how to drive. Like, that's how much I'm like, I gotta do this shit. Like, I'm getting grown. Like, I wanna be able to, like, I'm getting emotional because, like, I just wanna be able to have something for myself and just tell myself, like, bitch, you did it. Because, you know, I finished high school, but I never finished college. And I jumped, I jumped straight into the hair stuff. And I was so good at hair that I just kind of just, it just took over my world. So it's like my whole world is hair now, and I need it. If, it's, if my whole world is gonna be hair, I need it to be, I need it to be like top tier. I need it to be top tier of hair. Like I need to be able to be like, bitch, you started from nothing and you made something of yourself. Like you really made something of yourself. So like, that's the way my motivation. And I'm like, now that I'm 26, I'm like looking stuff. I'm looking at stuff like, bitch, you're about to be 30. Like you're about to be 30. Like real shit. I was. I feel like I just came out of high school. I want to I wanna be able for myself to be like, bitch, you did all of that. Like, you said everything. You did everything you said you was going to do. Like, so that's why I think this time around, hair school is going to be something that's going to be, like, really dope. I've been watching a bunch of, like, YouTube's, YouTube videos of, like, people going to hair school and people, like, these are people that don't know anything about hair, like, learning. And it just looks so nice to just see them, like, in these environments where people believe in them and people are also, like, rooting for them. And then they're rooting for their classmates. Like, I would love to have a little community like that. And I hope to build a little hair community as I go to school because I still don't have that. Like, I have people that I'm well-connected with. I'm very well-connected. But I don't have, like, 
friends that I feel like I've grown with in the hair industry. This is a really good talk. Like, they got me crying and shit. I love. I'm, I'm gonna upload this video. I'm gonna upload the whole shit, okay? But yes, that is my goals. This is my first video of many. I am actually going to try and record myself when I go on a tour because I'm doing that by myself. I'm not. And that's one thing. I usually. I like to I like to use people as my blankets because I have social anxiety. A lot of people might not believe that because of how social I am on social media, but that's just it. Since I was younger, I've always been awkward. I've always been socially awkward. Like so social media has always been like my outlet. Like social media has literally been where I where I was able to be this person that I wanted to be or be this person that I I always like knew it was in me but just it wouldn't come out when i was in front of people like i just always get really really shy like i just i have i yo i know so many people i know so many people the, but the thing is that i'm not good at keeping like in contact and i'm not good at communication because i i literally feel like mm, i don't want to bother them i don't want to bother them maybe not maybe not so like i'm just i'm just really excited to be like no Giselle, you're gonna fucking do it so i'm doing beauty school alone no jolene no best friend no extra person like just me and i am committing myself to taking the train to 34th street and going to school by nine in the morning every single morning like so that means a whole different schedule like that's a whole that's a, a whole different ball game so come september i plan to be a full-time morning student so that's gonna be a whole switch i'm not really sure how it works i guess i'll talk to like the the um person that gives me the tour and everything they'll probably break it all down i can't wait to bring you back along it's gonna be so fun let's take a second to give a shout out to she kind of inspires me to like keep going and i don't know if she knows it but noelle i appreciate you girl thank you for always making sure to let me know that you are watching and that just makes me feel like, you know, other people are watching and I like, if she likes it, every, a lot of people must like it. So this is the new YouTube series, the new YouTube series of, you know, Jay Zell tackles the world is because of Noelle. Okay. Noelle, you're pushing me to record my journey because I was just going to silently do it, but fuck that. I'm going to start recording it and just showing you guys the real of it. Y'all going to see me cry. Y'all going to see me laugh. Y'all going to see me have a great day, have a bad day. Y'all gonna see it all. And I'm gonna make sure to bring it to you guys because you guys have always been there for me. Like, this is my community. And I'm excited to bring new people into the community, like being on YouTube. I'm hoping to grow in that process and really start seeing myself in a different light. Speaking everything into existence. Like, speaking everything into existence. Because I believe that manifesting is the way of life. That's me. That's I love to manifest. I think that everything comes true when you manifest. I manifested to do everything that I do now. Um, yeah. So that concludes my talk. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this blood. I'm going to edit this video and post it for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys love the new series. I don't know what I'm going to name it. So by the time it comes up, hopefully we have a good name. I'm hoping. I got six five. I got six five. But yes. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media platforms. I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all of that. Jazel the brand. Jazel the brand. Like, if you can't spell it, it's up there. So find it. And make sure to put your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know what you guys want to see more of. If you guys think that beauty school content would be a good idea, definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to see what you guys want to see. Because I know what I want to see, but it's all about my, it's all about my, my pictures, okay? So I gotta make sure y'all good. So love you guys. For now, I'm out.